Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I'm gonna to be showing you this New Year's Eve glam look. This is the second time I've done a cut crease like it's so difficult for me because I have hooded eyes and I don't have a lot of lid space as you can tell. But um, I think it turned out pretty well. I really like it. So if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching. I'm just gonna start with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Now I'm just going to set that with my RCMA setting powder. Now for our transition shade, we're going to use Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And now we're just going to go into the Love Letter color. To darken it up a little bit more, I'm going to use Venetian Red. To darken that up a little bit more, I think I'm going to take a little bit of the Cypress Umber. This is the part I'm most nervous about because I have really hooded eyes. So... I'm wondering how I'm gonna get this cut crease. Like I've done, I've done a cut crease before, but it wasn't that cute. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna take that um, Eden primer potion again. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Sigma concealer brush. I'm just gonna try and attempt to cut this crease. So I attempted to do like a glitter cut crease and then the glitter just flew everywhere. So changing plans. I picked up this liquid crystal body liner from NYX yesterday. Let's attempt this. Like I know there's some glitter left over, but we can work with it. It's not showing up very well. I think I'm gonna use the Glam Liner Aqualux as well in 24 karat. Yeah, so I'm just gonna try and use that and then use the other liner over it to see if that makes it more pigmented. I'm just gonna go back in with that the glitter liner and go on top of that. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back in with the primer potion. Now I'm just gonna use the Q-tip and remove this. We're gonna set the lid with Vermeer. For eyeliner, I usually use the Physician's Formula just to make the outline. Oh. And now I'm just gonna fill in the little stencil I made with the Inglot liner. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm not sure what lashes I want to use for this look because like I don't want to cover up what I did but at the same time I want a dramatic lash so I'm going to use the telescopic carbon black okay so I like using the duo brush on adhesive I'm just going to do my other eye okay so I just did the other eye and now we're going to do our foundation concealer and all of that I'm just gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Like, I don't know if I really believe in that stuff. Like, if you want it to actually make a change in your life, you would do it before. Honestly, I got color matched for this foundation at Sephora. And I still, like, I think it's too light. 
but the other colors were too dark or too orange for me so i don't know like it passes the double chin test i think i mean if, after i bronze and stuff it's usually fine but it just bothers me a little bit so moving on to concealer i stayed up really late yesterday so i think i'm gonna go ahead and um color correct I don't know if this actually works like once I used the green to cancel out my redness I don't know if other people noticed but I felt like I looked so green that day like so pale and everything so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that like pinky shade under my eyes Now we're gonna go in with my favorite concealer which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer Now I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend all of that out. So now I'm just gonna bake a little bit. My way of baking isn't like baking baking, like you know how you're supposed to keep it on for like 10 minutes or whatever. Like I like to just throw a bunch of powder on there because I feel like it's doing something. But my skin isn't like really oily, like it's only my T-zone that gets really oily. So I don't really like baking for that long, but I still feel like it's doing something for my like makeup. Like, like it does keep it on longer. I do like the RCMA powder, but I thought it was going to be translucent. So yeah, this does have flashback. Okay, next I'm going to contour. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes and just smoke out the bottom a little bit. I'm gonna go back with that It Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna use red ochre. So since the top of the eye was so dramatic already, I think we're just gonna keep it nude on the bottom. highlighting. We're going to use Crushed Pearl and Mimosa. For my nose highlight, I generally used um, Starburst and Crushed Pearl. And then for the inner corner, I think we're just going to use Starburst and um, Crushed Pearl. And then go back in with Crush Pearl and Mimosa on the cheekbones and the brow bone. And then I'm gonna squeeze the brush a little bit. I'm gonna take Mimosa and put it on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna use the Palladio lip liner and spice. Now I'm gonna use Stila's Caramello to lighten that a little bit. Now I'm gonna use the Urban K All Nighter Setting Spray. That is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.